Healthcare recruitment and retention remains a top priority throughout the Prairie Mountain Health region. PMH has participated in several initiatives to address nurse vacancies, including new mentorship programs and financial incentives. Post-secondary institutions are increasing the number of nursing seats and Assiniboine Community College announced rural rotating practical nurse training opportunities in Verdun and Nipawa. PMH was also part of the recruitment mission to the Philippines. Prairie Mountain Health is working to address the physician shortage. One initiative is the International Medical Graduates Program, IMGs, which assists foreign trained doctors in obtaining their medical license to practice as family physicians. Hello. We, we could do that. Wasn't she started on Dr. Atella is an IMG physician practicing okay. in Verdun. It's, it's actually a good scope of medicine. Um, rural communities usually uh, provide you with diversity in everything because you do family medicine like a primary care practice. At the same time, you might end the day with emergency coverage and hospital as well with admitting patients with some procedures in the morning. So it's it's kind of everything you, you can do. It's 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 very, very nice mix of, of everything um, that you might not be able to do anywhere else. IMG physicians agree to practice in their respective communities oh, for four nice years in nice return for nice regional nice sponsorship. Nice IMGs are in Nipawa, Roblin, Russell, Verdon and Swan River. This hemoglobin is quite low. We should probably order PMH has hired more physician assistants, PAs and hours. clinical assistants we'll to expand CDC primary CDC care availability. Troy Smook is a PA at the Brandon Regional Health Center, mainly in the orthopedic program. He likes the time that he is able to spend with patients and also being able to assist in the OR. I, I'm basically the attending uh, for those people. Um, the surgeon is ultimately in charge of them, but they entrust me and my colleague Christian to do the daily rounds, do the daily orders, check up on blood work, check x-rays. Uh, do all the consults if they need medical or anesthesia or other specialty consults. Uh, we do all the discharge summaries, we do all of the discharge prescriptions, and we just uh, make sure that the patients are well taken care of uh, before they go home. Hello, my name is Charnay. I'm a physician assistant working with one of the doctors here at the clinic. Is it right? Charnay Betcher is a PA based in Swan River, her home community. Her role as a PA is in the primary care setting. She works at the Swan Valley Primary Care Center as part of my health team. PMH initiated a program for experienced baccalaureate nurses to consider enhancing their skill set to become nurse practitioners. The program included loan support and required a return of service agreement. PMH MPs serve 27 communities with shifts in the mobile clinic, medical clinics and 7th Street Health Access Centre in Brandon. In addition, this past year, PMH hosted numerous career expos throughout the region, highlighting the many job opportunities available. The Stevenson Review was commissioned following a significant COVID outbreak in a private personal care home in Winnipeg. As part of the review on personal care homes, in collaboration with Shared Health and Manitoba Health, PMH moved forward with new provincial infection prevention and control positions that oversees practices that staff follow in PCHs. Now with the gloves, we want to ensure that when we pull them on, that we are pulling them up over the cuff of the gown. I feel that having an on-site infection control support associate is important for our long-term care sites because we know our staff work really, really hard to provide direct care to our residents. And infection control is one of those outside factors that sometimes needs just a little extra reminder. So when we have someone here who is able to educate and teach and direct at the same time, I feel that we're just offering that extra safety measure for our residents as well as our staff who work in these sites. Come in. Hi, Auntie. 
Jim. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I got your pajamas. Okay. Your laundry. How are you doing today? Good. Good. Also part of this review was to enhance recruitment and retention, including designated grants to support hiring more health care aides in personal care homes. We cannot forget about the health and well-being of our hard-working and dedicated staff. Thanks to the Employee Wellness Committee, employee fund days were held, like this ski trip to Assisipi. Funding grants were also available for staff to put towards a fun event such as a barbecue, bowling, or paint night. Staff development worked regionally and provincially to offer support and education for managers to help them provide the support their staff needed. Leaders were also invited to attend virtual workshops on building resiliency. The Mobile Clinic provides primary care services for people living in or near some of our First Nations communities. Okay, hey, let's take a peek at your throat. Good, say ah. The Clinic on Wheels offers a full range of services such as physical exams, harm reduction, immunizations, family care, and referrals. Nurse practitioners are advanced practice nurses, so we've got a master's in nursing, so we can do things like prescribe medications, order blood work, order CT scans, MRIs, refer out to specialists if needed, uh, a full assessment of patients. He's got some really um, awful eczema on his forearm. Oh. I think the more barriers that we remove to uh, have access to health care, the better it is for everyone, and, and this is a, transportation is a huge barrier for for a lot of people, so coming straight to the communities, um, we're allowed, we are able to see people who don't normally go for primary care visits. Another valuable partnership is with the Sabatoyak Cree Nation. My Health Team provides outreach to serve clients in their homes, community settings, and remote locations. Hi, I'm Carly. I'm a nurse with the Healthy Sexuality Harm Reduction Program, and we're going to do some testing today. Um, we're going to do blood work for Hep B, Hep C, HIV, and syphilis. Outreach and public health community clinics offering services such as immunizations, harm reduction, and STBBI testing are ongoing in the region. Clinics at Princess Park and Richmond Park Church in Brandon, the primary care outreach clinic in Dauphin, or the Community Connections van that visits a number of communities on a regular basis. PMH expanded its Indigenous Health Program. Three Indigenous Health Client Advocates help cultivate relationships between Indigenous clients and healthcare providers. I look in on patients, visit with them. If the patients have any concerns about how they're being treated, uh, what their care plan is, uh, I liaise with social work, doctors, nurses, PT, OT, I attend family conferences. I go out into the community of Brandon to go to 7th Street Health Access Centre and Public Health. I grew up in an Indigenous community. I am Indigenous myself. And when I grew up seeing my parents face, you know, healthcare, like the healthcare system back then, I just want to be a part of the healthcare system now, making sure that these, my Indigenous people, that they receive the best quality care that, that can be, that we can give them. The Stevenson Review made several recommendations to enhance residents' care in our long-term care facilities. Hey, Betty. Hi. Hi. I got your hair towels here. Super. Hi, Doreen. Personal care homes in PMH started to hire and expand their staffing levels and allied health resources. Residents have more access to recreational activities. The region also has a new long-term care access coordinator, the regional point person, to coordinate and manage the PCH waitlist, including the movement of clients to transitional care units, or PCH beds from acute care or community. Through a partnership with Shared Health and Health Canada through the Substance Use and Addictions Program funding, mobile access to addictions medicine, RAM clinics, have expanded. Clinic days have been set up in Russell, Weiwei Capo, and Wiskwe Sipik First Nations, 
to improve client access to addiction medicine. PMH has worked towards implementing a medical withdrawal management service consisting of four beds within the Brandon Regional Health Centre. This service supports individuals requiring medical support to withdraw from substances and connects them to resources on their recovery journey. Um, so she's going to be a medical admission, but she will at some point need... In addition, mental health liaison nurses provide coordinated care for individuals who present to the emergency department with mental health or addiction concerns. They provide assessments and recommendations for care, as well as connect individuals to resources. Prairie Mountain Health currently has several capital projects underway. BRHC Critical Care Project will include a new 16-bed intensive care unit and 30 additional medical beds. The Western Manitoba Cancer Centre's 7,000 square foot expansion and renovation is underway, which will see additional exam rooms and treatment spaces. It will also include the Centre of Hope, an area for counselling and support. When complete, this facility will have a second LINAC machine for radiation therapy. A new hospital is being built in Nipawa. Among the features are 60 medical beds, 4 labour and delivery rooms, 14 emergency treatment bays, cancer care services, and renal dialysis. Renovations to the Dauphin Regional Health Centre will convert the former emergency department space into enhanced patient care areas, including a new endoscopy suite and chemotherapy unit. Emergency department renovations are nearing completion in Verdon, Killarney, and Souris. These renovations allow for dedicated space for registration, treatment space, and improved wayfinding for patients. Construction is underway on the building addition to expand the cancer care unit at Russell Health Centre. The expanding Community Cancer Care Committee raised $1.8 million towards construction and equipment costs related to this project. Plans to install a CT scanner within the Swan Valley Health Centre in Swan River are progressing and the equipment has been ordered. The province committed $2 million to the initiative and the surrounding communities were contributing $1 million. In conclusion, PMH recognizes and says thank you to the many foundations, auxiliaries and community groups and individuals who donate money to our healthcare facilities for the betterment of our staff, patients, clients and residents. We also recognize and celebrate all the efforts, achievements and contributions made by our staff and volunteers every day in our facilities across the region. We are all part of a team, regardless of what community and position we hold. We recognize them throughout the year. Thank you for your dedication.